Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. Everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that the Dow Jones is up 419 points in late trade. Now either this is a dead cat bounce or something genuine is going on here, people in the market say they really do expect Congress to come up with a package, possibly by the end of this week. So some sanity is prevailing after the shock of yesterday's failure in Congress to pass the bill. Meanwhile, another bank had to be rescued overnight, this time in Europe. The French and Belgian governments had to pump $9.2 billion into Dexia to stop it from failing. This is partly linked to the failure of Fortis, bit of a domino effect going on there. Ireland has put up 400 billion euros to guarantee bank deposits. It wants to avoid any runs on its banks. And back in the United States, the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, which runs the deposit insurance, corporation, deposit insurance system for US banks, that has just asked Congress to lift the limit on each account to $250,000 from $100,000. And finally, back at home, the Reserve Bank Governor, Alan Byler, went on radio, national radio this morning and reassured people about the safety of banks. He did say, however, that the conditions in international money markets were unprecedented. He hadn't seen anything like it before, and he, but he ruled out the prospects of an emergency rate cut, saying that monetary policy should be for the longer term, and the next time we'll see something on interest rates is likely to be October the 23rd. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was 90 at 9 for interest.co.nz.